Hi, I'm Eileen Levy, and I'd like to introduce you to Designer Pattern Computer Charting Programs. Designer Pattern XV is a series of five knitwear charting programs written for computers running Windows 7, Vista, and XP. Each volume offers different styles to create text and graphic printouts for your custom sizing and shaping. Any individual program or combination of volumes can be purchased from Eileen's Needle Nook. This slideshow is an overview for using our Design a Pattern programs. The first screen is used to select the right volume for your needs. Moving your mouse over each button shows the styles available in each volume. For instance, Volume 1 is used to design basic cardigans and pullover tops with a variety of armhole and neckline styles. It also offers sideways and diagonal knitting options. Moving the mouse over the button for Volume 2 shows this program is used to create a variety of skirts and slacks. Styles include straight and A-line skirts, hip yoke and gourd panel skirts, as well as two other types of sideway skirts. The program also offers patterns for trousers, lounging pants, culottes, shorts, and briefs. Volume 3 is used to create more advanced knitted tops. Styles include saddle shoulder, yoke shoulder, and round yoke sweaters, as well as darted tops, T-tops, sun tops, and bra tops. As in Volume 1, these tops can be designed with a variety of armhole and neckline styles. Volume 4 can be used to design asymmetric cardigan and vest styles. These include double-breasted and crossover cardigans, as well as a variety of six vest styles. As in Volume 1, these tops can be designed with numerous armhole and neckline styles with a diagonal knitting option. As in all of our other volumes, a freestyle design option is also offered. Finally, Volume 5 focuses on creating outfits for toddlers, babies, and dolls. In addition to small cardigan and pullover tops, styles include onesies and bib top outfits with leggings, shorts, and brief bottoms. Simple pants and skirts are also included with each pattern. Doll starter sizes range from Barbie and Ken to 18-inch American Girl dolls. For this slideshow, we will demonstrate how to use Designer Pattern to chart a child size 2 sweater. We will also show how to create text and graphic printouts for the back panels as an illustration for all panels. I'll move my mouse to the first button and click it to open Volume 1. In addition to pictures of me wearing outfits I designed with our programs, the opening screen has a series of tabs and two large buttons. The New User button opens the User Manual, and the Green Start button begins the Design Pattern program. The first screen is the Pattern Data tab, where basic knitting information is entered before proceeding to the other screen tabs. Styling options are shown on the left side of the Pattern Data screen. Default selections are for a pullover sweater with cap sleeve armhole shaping and crew necklines in front and back. For this example, I use the front neckline drop-down menu to select a rounded v-neck style. Optional pattern information is then entered to identify the names, date, and knitting machine settings for the design. Critical yarn swatch information must be entered to define yarn gauges for accurate row stitch calculations by the program. Yarn gauges can be recorded directly from your finished swatch, or the program can calculate the gauges if you enter the swatch measurements, rows, and stitches. An option is also available for the program to estimate the yarn usage based on the length or width of the yarn in your swatch. Finally, general pattern comments can be added before clicking the green button to enter measurements on the measurement tab screen. There are three ways to enter measurements on this screen. First, custom sizing can be entered by following a series of pictures that show where to take measurements. Sizing charts are also provided in the user manual to record measurements ahead of time. Ease can be added with custom sizing. If you knit for someone else but don't have their measurements, starter sizes can be selected from drop-down menus on this screen. 
These starter measurements are available for men, women, misses, and ch child sizes. Finally, if you want to design a sweater for someone you've already knitted for, measurements previously saved on this screen can be loaded for new yarns. Another feature is a button to convert inches and centimeters to adapt measurements from written patterns. When all measurements are entered, click the large green button to load the design screen for adjustments and row stitch calculations. This screen is where you can visually adjust each panel shape and calculate rows and stitches. When you're happy with panel shapes and sizing, row and stitch directions are calculated by scanning black pixels of panels drawn on this screen. To change body panel shaping and sizing, just click the garment style drop down box or any up down arrow to increase or decrease measurement listed on the body tab. This slide shows how the cap sleeve set in style was changed to a gusset insert and an inch of shoulder tapering was also added. Click the neckline tab to alter neckline shaping and sizing. Front and back neckline styles can be changed using drop boxes while up down arrows are used to increase or decrease measurements. This slide illustrates how the front neckline was lengthened and changed from a crew neck to a rounded v-neck. Click the sleeve tab to adjust sleeve shaping and sizing. Shaping is changed with the drop box while up down arrows are again used to increase or decrease measurements. Sleeve shaping was changed from straight to curved and mid arm circumference was decreased for this slide. Since it's easy to get carried away changing shapes and sizes, this screen offers undo and redo buttons. In this slide, the undo all button was used to revert back to the original styles and sizes. In addition to adjusting styles and sizing on this design screen, panel shapes can also be customized by sending any graphic or to Windows Paint. After erasing and redrawing black lines in paint, graphics can be saved and retrieved for calculating rows and stitches. After you finish making changes, row, rows and stitches are calculated from screen pixels by clicking the Calculate drop-down menu for any or all panels. A red outline forms around calculated pixels for each panel. When calculations are complete, pattern text and graphics can be viewed edited and printed from the print out and graphic screen tabs. Either tab can be picked from the drop down screen menu, but we will start with the graphic screen. Any of the small display panels can be clicked for highlighting in the large graphics preview box. A variety of grid overlays can be added to highlighted panels. In this example, the grid overlay shows rows, stitches, and measurements. We will come back shortly to show how overlay graphics are printed. Another feature of all designer pattern programs is the use of cut and sew templates. Using this button draws an overlay of sections for printing on separate pages. Clicking any display template section highlights the pattern section to be printed. Full size or reduced scale templates are printed via WordPad or they can be copied to other programs. Panel section printouts can be taped together to make full size templates for cutting out fabric panels. After canceling the cut and sew feature, we will print the back panel, which we overlaid with a grid of rows, stitches, and inches. The highlighted proportional graphics button offers several output options. The large panel graphic is reduced in size to correct proportions for copying, saving, pasting into paint, or adding to pattern text. A new feature is now available to create a reduced scale template suitable for tracing on mylar sheets for knit radar contour attachments. In this example, the back panel of the child's sweater is sent to WordPad for printing a 50% scale template. A 25% scale option can be also be selected for larger panel sizes. Each panel could be printed as a template for the knitting machine attachment such as a Silver Reed KR21 knit contour. Returning to the designer pattern graphic screen, I've clicked the one by one zoom panel grid button to create a stitch row 
overlay. This grid option is useful to print with pattern text directions, which we will now create. This slide shows the pattern output screen to print knitting directions. I've elected to list bottom to top knitting directions for the back panel. Any or all panel directions can be displayed for printing by clicking the green load pattern text button. As this slide highlights, knitting directions are printed in a table with columns for starting, ending, and total needles on both sides of the knitting machine. Rows are only listed when stitches are removed or added on either side of the knitting machine. The text also highlights when outside needles are removed for armhole shaping or inside needles are removed for neckline shaping. In addition to being able to edit pattern text on this screen, panel graphics can be added. Clicking the Add Graphics button will paste the current graphic screen print into the text after correcting the picture for correct proportions. Click the green print file button when the pattern is ready and the file will be transferred to WordPad for formatting and printing. This slide shows the two page print preview screen before the pattern is printed from WordPad to your printer. There are two other tab screens in Design a Pattern. The Collars tab allows you to create generic neckline trims and different collar styles. To make a neckline trim, just input the width you want and Designer Pattern will create directions using neckline sizing from your sweater. To design a collar, select a style from the drop-down boxes and input the collar width you want. The program will create directions for your collar using the neckline sizing from your sweater. The program will use the same yarn gauges as the sweater panels, but gauges can be changed if you use different yarn. The final tab is for the help screen. This screen provides access to the user manual for describing how each step of the program works. Sizing charts and examples are included for each volume. This tab screen provides access to our Needle Nook website for the latest Design a Pattern information. Email support is also offered on this screen if you have questions not answered in the manual. I travel to knitting, workshops, and seminars around the country where I teach Design a Pattern, as well as other classes for machine knitters, which are listed on my website. Please contact me by email or phone if you need a teacher or more information about Design a Pattern.